Welcome everybody to Nine's Corner. If you're new here, hi, I'm Nine, it's nice to meet you. And if you're returning, welcome back my dear, dear friends. So it is that time again to do our love money advice vibes for this week. But I decided as a little bonus, I'm going to put a worry category in there because I think there's so many times that we have so much stress in our lives and it would be good to have a little advice as to how to deal with that stress. So I've added an extra category. So now we have love, money, worry, and advice. So let me know what you think about it in the comments. And as always, we will have our angel answers. So let me play the little video that gives you time to think about which number resonates with you. One, two, or three. Go to that number and you will get your vibes for this week. You've chose group one. So when it comes to love, we have the Knight of Swords. So with the Knight of Swords, a situation is about to begin. It's something that's going to change your circumstances. So if you're single, this means love is swooping in. Even if you're like no nine, there I don't see a possibility of anybody. Guess what? They're just going to come in. It's going to be passionate. It's going to be something that could be life-changing. So check out and look out. When it comes to my married folks, sometimes we get caught up in looking at others and comparing ourselves, comparing our relationships to others and always finding fault. Do not do that. Your relationship is unique, special, and your own. Unless you're having issues where you need to work on your relationship, that's a separate issue. But do not look at others and try to see yourself in that relationship. That's not, that's not an equal, that's not a mirror. So focus on your own relationship, not those of others. And that also means, you know, don't be gossiping about others. It's not nice. <laughs> when it comes to just a general feeling of friends, family, co-workers, you know, you're just going to feel like people are really rushing around and everybody's got a place to be and a time to be there and they got to go, they got to go, they got to go. So you might just feel like you're getting the push off by people. It's okay. It's just a week. Might be something that you might appreciate. <laughs> when it comes to money, we have the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles is all about you're feeling unsettled. You just... You're worried about how things are going to work out. You find yourself juggling, trying to work things out. It's okay. It's a week. Um, things will be unsettled and remain unsettled. But you know what? When you believe, if you truly believe, like, you know what? No matter what, I'm going to be okay. And you let it go and you just continue on with your life. Let that thought go. Somebody or something will come and help you. It's all about belief and and. Um, don't let the negativity get you down. Do you know what I mean? So when it comes to your worries, we've got the Six of Cups. So for you, part of your worry, part of your anxiety is just not feeling good enough. You have this fear of, of success. You have this fear of being intimate with somebody because if somebody gets to know you, maybe they won't like you. It's this overall feeling of just not being good enough or not feeling like you're appreciated. It's this overall feeling of just not just just not feeling up to snuff. This is when you've got to 
you've got to deal with it and realize that it's your issue, not the others. So it's all about your perspective. So the first thing that you need to do is stop the negative recorder going on in your mind that's spewing out all these negative thoughts and feelings and words at you that make you feel like you're not good enough. When you feel good enough, everybody around you will know. When you feel good enough, you will not have this anxiety of fear of success because you will be happy just where you're to as you are and that's successful. When you can be okay and happy where you are, that's success. So work on quieting your mind, taking a deep breath and saying, you know what, I am successful. I am lovable. I am, and name off all the things that you are. And when the negative talk starts to come in, say, thank you. I appreciate your opinion, but now you got to go and then continue with the positive and that will help change how you feel and certainly how you interact with others. When it comes to advice, hmm, we have the fool. So interestingly enough, I mean, yes, I could tell you, be childlike, have child wonder, look at the world as you did when you were a child. And all that is true. All that is true. But as soon as I looked at this card, I thought to myself, you know, the fool is at the beginning of the journey. And when, we're, when we are at the beginning of the journey, we need special guidance. We need God, the universe, whatever that is, whatever you believe that to be, we need that to help us start our journey. So this is a really great time to quiet your mind and to listen for the messages or for the signs you know, those things that let you know that the universe is with you and they're ushering you on the way that you, where you need to go. This is your beginning. Allow the universe to show you that there's more than you could ever imagine. So allow your spiritual side to come out this week. So as always, we have our angel answers. It's time for you to think about that question that you think about from time to time. You'd like to have an answer, a yes, no, or something in between that. And we'll see what the angels have for you this week. Do you have your question? Let's see. Communicate. <laughs> yeah, communicate clearly. This situation requires very precise and careful communication. Don't assume that others involved understand what you want or need from them. In-person discussions are preferable, but if that's not possible, make sure that your communication method is very thorough. This card can indicate that there has been a miscommunication that is creating a challenge for the parties involved. By clearing up any misunderstandings, you can heal the situation so that everyone can start moving forward again. You've chosen group two. So when it comes to love, money, worry, and advice, what do we need to know for this week? Wow. When it comes to love, we've got the Wheel of Fortune. So this is a pretty big card. So it's important. Oftentimes, this is a case of after a negative situation, whether it be with your friends, family, loved ones, coworkers, um, you have an important decision to make. And it's almost like, are you going to keep this person in your life or cut them out? And for some, this could mean that either yourself or somebody else might need surgery. So there could be this worry involved but don't worry everything's going to work out the way it's supposed to so when it comes to money hmm, we've got the moon so the moon is letting me know that you have to check the fine print any contracts any paperwork you do this week make sure you're watching for any kind of issues if you're getting underpaid or you know anything that just looks off kilter uh, when it comes to dealings with people, you might want to watch and and 
kind of be cautious about people. If you get a gut instinct that there's something just not quite right with a person that you're dealing with, go with your gut. And, you know, say if you're at the grocery store and you get your bill and you're just looking at it kind of going, wow, groceries have really gotten expensive. Guess what? This week, check your bill because they might have overcharged you or something like that. So it's all about the fine print this week. When it comes to worry, we have the Six of Swords. So unfortunately, you're going through a difficult time where there's tension and worry and just an overall feeling of going through troubled times. And you just want to get away from it. You just want to leave, let it go. But the reality is that this problem or problems, they're not going away. There's no getting around it. You got to go through it. And so for you to be able to deal with it, you need to either change your perspective of it, change your negative feeling into a more positive, productive one, or you take action and you do something about it. So your worries are really up to you how you want to deal with them or how long you want to deal with them. When it comes to advice, we have the six of wands. So sometimes we get overly thoughtful, involved, or worried about our ego, about what people think of us, you know, keeping up with the Joneses type of thing. And this is a reminder that you're not above anybody, you're not below anybody, and life throws us all curbs. Be modest and live in gratitude. So when it comes to our angel answers, do you have that question, that yes, no, or somewhere in between that you'd like to ask about something that's been on your mind for the last few days or for the last however long, depending on your situation? Do you have your question? Let's see what the angel answers have for you this week. Unlikely. The situation you have asked about is unlikely to occur as you are imagining it. There may be a different version of events that will take place, or it may be that what you've asked about is simply not in your highest, greatest good. Place your focus on an alternate possibility. Open your eyes to different opportunities. Be willing to experience a unique and more uplifting outcome than what you had planned for yourself. You've chosen group three. So what do you need to know when it comes to love, money, worry, and advice this week? So when it comes to love, we've got the queen of swords. So here we have to be really careful about the words we use, that they affect people and can really hurt people. And with the queen of swords, it also lets me know that you're trying to protect yourself. You have some feelings that maybe are causing you to speak out. So if you're having some issues this week, if you just don't think you can you know, hold your tongue, go to a friend, go to somebody who's willing to listen to you so you can vent so it won't feel so bad. And unfortunately, for some, this could mean a separation or even a divorce. Not necessarily with you, but it could be around somebody you love or a friend that you know or just even gossip. You know what I mean? <laughs> when it comes to money, we have the chariot. So when I'm dealing with people, like two individuals who have a home together and you're sharing your finances. This could be about both of you just coming from different perspectives, wanting different things and having to realize that, hold on now, it all comes from the same pot because we're together. So this is all about having to compromise and come together on how you see things and because no matter what, it's coming from the same home, so it affects you both equally. So it's not always good to be right 
when you're hurting other people's feelings. So really try to sit down and talk. And for some, this could be having to make a big decision. Do you leave your job? Do you move? Do you change careers? The chariot is all about making decisions, so make the right one. When it comes to worry, um, with the five of swords, your worry is going to be around health, be it yourself or be it somebody close to you. The worry is definitely about health issues, um, There could be potential for somebody having to leave their home for a period of time due to health issues. And on the other side, it could actually mean that you got to be careful with your electrical or anything that has electricity to deal with it, i.e., you know, your electric bill, check it. Maybe something might go a little haywire in your car this week. Maybe your toaster will just not work. It could be just one of those annoying weeks as well. So really, this is about taking what life gives you and doing the best that you can to alleviate it. So if, if it's you that has the health issues, make sure you're going to your doctor. Make sure you're taking your medications. Make sure that... You're not overdoing it. If it's somebody else, be there for them as much as you can and don't let yourself get overwhelmed or overworked. Talk to somebody. And for some, this could be just a week of electrical issues. So, you know, if and when that happens to you, you'll just be like, I knew this was going to happen. No worries, no stress. <laughs> let it be. When it comes to advice for this week. Huh. We've got the Knight of Pentacles. It seems like I'm doing a lot about spirituality in the last few readings. Because with the Knight of Pentacles, it's all about following your gut instinct. And what is your gut instinct? It's God, the universe, whatever you believe that to be giving you a message, giving you a sign, giving you the emotional knowledge of how you feel about a situation. And if you're just like, Nina, I don't know how I feel. I, I just can't see the forest from the trees. Then you are going to quiet down, whether that's meditating or just sitting in the room quietly without any noise, without any disruptions, and quiet your mind and just say, you know what, universe... I need some help. I need some guidance. And then just, shh. and I promise you what you need to know, what your next step should be or shouldn't, maybe shouldn't be, whatever it is, you will get that gut instinct and it will be the right decision. Okay? So we have our angel answers as always. Do you have your question, that yes, no, or somewhere in between question that you have this week that you're just kind of like, hmm, I wonder what about that? Do you have it? Let's see what your angel answer is for this week. Forgiveness. Forgiveness can work miracles. When you release the past, a weight is lifted from your shoulders and a sense of freedom washes over you. Ask your angels to help you let go of sadness or pain caused by others so that you can be free. This card can also reflect your need for self-forgiveness. It's time to let go of any guilt you are holding on regarding past mistakes you may have made. Give yourself credit for having tried your best even if the results weren't what you would have liked. Focus on the changes you've made since then and have made you a better person. So that's our reading for this week. I want to shout out our American friends and say happy Thanksgiving to you. And as always, I have our unity candle lit for each and every one of us. And until the next time we chat, cheerio and take care of my friends.